everybody. Welcome back to Bayou Time. Harry McCullough here. We're talking with the parish president, Terrebonne Parish, Mr. Gordon Dove. Hey, Gordon, thanks so much uh, for being with us. We've got a lot of, well, we got some breaking news today as uh, Governor Bell Edwards has lifted the indoor mask mandate. And uh, we, we also got a, a few things. So, it, you know, we're all recovering from a storm, but, but things are getting back to normal. As you say, Mardi Gras is going to happen this year, a Christmas parade. So let me, let me first start with the mask mandate. Uh, I guess you were anticipating that. Our, our, uh, our, our test positivity rate is, is only right above two, and, and the cases have been down. So talk a little bit about, uh, about the news from, from Governor Edwards today. Yeah, I think it's great they left again. I would still advise the public that, you know, we can still social distance as much as possible. I mean, let's not take this this uh, virus that lightly. And, you know, I'm glad, you know, of course, I'm very glad he lifted it. You know, our positivity rate is uh, 2.17, and we have uh, three people in, in the hospitals, one, unfortunately, one on a ventilator. And uh, well, we did have two deaths since Friday, so... This thing's still for real, you know. So just everyone, be please be careful. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And and, and really, a, a government mandate, uh, one way or the other, doesn't change anything. And uh, we're still kind of low as far as uh, our vaccination rate. So yeah, people should still take all the precautions in the world. It doesn't mean to, to go out and go crazy. But down the road, we might be able to go crazy a little bit with Mardi Gras. So uh, that's some good news that, that on March 1st, uh, well, that's the actual Mardi Gras date, but obviously the season starts before that. Uh, we, we are going to have Mardi Gras this year, though. Yes, 100%. And I've sent a, uh, I've sent a letter out, and of course the letter was signed by myself, Sarah Saunier, and uh, Chief Coleman, because, they, you know, they handle the the, uh, the safety aspects of it. And, of course, uh, Steve Ponville, the public safety director for Therabone, and we sent letters out. We put it on the website, and it's definitely a go. And uh, so, you know, the Cardinal Club still have to get, you know, they got to get all their, 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 their enrollment, their, their membership. And, you know, and, and don't forget one sec. We're not forgetting one second that we're still putting people in trailers and, you know, that's still our priority right now is uh, the travel trailers. We all get them in place. We're not getting them as fast as I would like it, but we all, you know, the, the, the travel trailers are getting put in place. We have a lot of tent cities up that people do have a place to stay, and uh, we're going to keep pushing it. And, of course, our priority right now is getting people in homes and, of course, rebuilding terrible power. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. And, and I guess maybe I jumped the gun there. I mean, look, we're still dealing with a major, major event that, that came through our parish on August 29th. And, and you're right. A lot of people are still trying to find their way. We, we do see, you know, we talked uh, with, with Chris Pulaski last week about those those uh, trailers that are over at the Civic Center. And one of just a, a three areas that, that have those trailers it doesn't mean those are all for Terrebonne Parish. Uh, but but how's that process going? You said it's not going away as fast as you'd like. Uh, what would you like to see speed up a little bit in that regard? Well, what what problem? Uh, a, company, a, company, a company called Aptum, the engineering firm that was hired. Remember the state the state through GoSev had to go out for quotes, and uh, a go, uh, Aptum had got it. And I've actually been speaking with them, and they're trying to contact people who are qualified to get them. And I'm having trouble getting people. So anyone that is uh, that is do a trailer, and uh, if you can, you know, if, if, if these people contact you, because they got to get your signature, they're not gonna put a trailer on your property without your signature. So they, that seems to be the biggest goal right now is to get to a lot of people, because a lot of people are displaced and they're trying to hunt them down and. Uh, so, you know, we have our people in the Terrebonne Parish, Chris Pulaski's on top of it, as you just said his name. And so we're going to really try to move it as quick as possible. But the trailer's already, they're coming in, and uh, and they are staging some of them for, for, te- for LaFouche Parish also. So, But uh, but we've got more trailers than what we can put in you know, that we that we are putting in, at one, in, in a day or two days or three days. But we do need... When I say we go, uh, the, uh, the the engineers and the installers need to speed it up, and we 
we're really pushing them. We're pushing them as hard as humanly possible. Right. Uh, you, right now, you have you have the large camps too, and and I guess what you're finding out, you know, you have the big camp in 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 Montague, you have one in, in Chauvin, you have one in Dulac, uh, that 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 house a lot of people. But I guess what you're finding out, people would like to stay on their own property and get back as close as they can to their own property. Huh? Yeah, they want to stay on their own property. Nobody wants to go sleep in a bed with a curtain dividing another family. And, of course, you can hear anything going through through there. And, uh, you know, the federal government has to get better about giving some some privacy uh, type of uh, a quarters on an emergency basis, uh, you know, better than tents. And uh, another problem we had down Montague, they had stopped the uh, – they had stopped the uh, feeding of people who did not stay there. And Steve, I mean, excuse me, Steve Trosaclair and myself went down there. Myself and Councilman Steve Trosaclair, we contacted GoSaf and we contacted FEMA and said this was totally ridiculous. Anybody walks up to this tent, we want them fed. And, of course, they changed their policy. That was just a FEMA policy. If you didn't stay there, they wouldn't feed you. And how dare them turn away anybody to feed during, during this time of crisis like this. So, anyway, if you're in Montague and you want a meal, go to that tent. They will feed you. Yeah, that's great to hear. And it's great to hear that y'all can make a difference like that. And you yeah. can you can step up. And I want to thank, you know, Steve, Steve Trostclair really, uh, you know, ran with it. And, you know, and really that's his district and, the fact that they wasn't feeding the people down there. But anyway, we got his trade, and I want to thank Steve Trostclair for spearheading it with me. All right, Gordon Dove, uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with more Bayou Time right after this.